Priscilla Kaiser, and I'm going to turn the camera on her in just a moment. She has been working on a special report that is coming up in about 10, 15 minutes on ABC 13 News at 6. And I'm going to talk to her a little bit about um, what she's talking about. It's helping in an active shooter situation, letting you know what to do. i got to figure out how to turn the camera around. My hair? Okay, there we go. Um, okay, Priscilla, first of all, if you talk to an expert, can you give me a little bit of his background? Okay, his name's Marco Galbraith, and he's been teaching um, how to respond in an active shooter situation for many years. He is a former police sergeant with the Daytona Police Department. He was also on the SWAT team, and through his active shooter research, he has met up with people in the FBI, other SWAT teams. He goes to Washington, D.C. a lot to learn about tactics. And he also has spoken to survivors of active shooting situations to find out what would they have done differently. Okay. And so you're going to tell us a little bit. It's different from just your standard run, hide, fight. There's, there are a few more details that we're going to get to learn on how to put in practice in the rare event that an active shooter situation would would happen to us. Can you give us like a slight detail? Yeah, so we've all heard you should run if you can, if not hide and then fight. Um, he, he goes a little bit further and says you need to really disrupt the shooter's plan and make kind of like discombobulate them in, the, in your environment. So when they come into your environment, he gives tips on what you can do to make it difficult for them to reach their goal. Okay. All right. Well, that's coming up just very shortly. So thanks, Priscilla. We're looking forward to it. It's a good report. Thank <laughs> you.